her reasons with thy knife. Remember first to possess her books. Without them, she's but a soft as I am. Nor hath not one spirit to command. They all do hate her, as rootedly as I. Burn but her books. She has brave utensils, for so she calls them, which, when she has a house, she will deck with all. And that, most deeply to consider, is the beauty of her daughter. <laughs> herself calls her Don Corel. Is it so brave, alas? Aye, Lord. She will become thy bed, I want, and bring thee forth, brave brood. <laughs> Monster, I will kill this dame. Her daughter and I will be king and queen, save our graces, and Trinculo and thyself shall be viceroys. Dost thou like the plot, Trinculo? Trin Trinculo? <laughs> oh! Oh! Give me that hand. I am sorry I beat But while thou livest, keep a good tongue in thy head. Within this half hour will she be asleep. Wilt thou destroy her then? Aye! On my honor. This will I tell my master. Thou makes me merry. I am full of pleasure. Let us be jocund. Will you troll the cat who taught me, taught me but while there? Oh! At thy request, Swatcher, I'll do a reason, any reason. Come on, Trinkano, let us sing. <laughs> one, two, scaly doo. We shall see the eggs no more. But soon we discover it. Look out, look out, go. That's not the tune. <laughs> oh, oh. What is this set? This is the tune of our catch played by the picture of nobody. Thou fierce man, show thyself in thy likeness. Thou fierce devil, take it to the list. Oh, forgive me my sins! Thou art special debts, and if I be, I'll you Art thou a fear? No! Oh, yes. <laughs> not I. Be not a fear. The eye is full of noises, sounds, and sweet airs. Delight hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about my ears, and sometimes Clouds leave up. 